Hi everyone. So a question I've been getting a lot right now is what are these bugs on my plants? Well, they're aphids and it's very common spring to have aphids. Basically they come out and hatch and they want to go to the nearest plant. They are phloem suckers, which means that they have this uh, little piercing stylet and they'll pierce into the sugar transport system of the plant, which is the phloem. And then they pump out the sugars and then they poop out the sugar. So that's why your plants can be sticky. That's called honeydew. And yes, if you get so many of them, they can be detrimental to your plant because they're pulling out the carbohydrates and the sugars. And also the, the sugary poo could start getting fungus on it called sooty mold. But let's tackle what's going on right now. So it's spring, they come out, your roses, your plants are inundated. I have a chamomile right here that really, it's the only plant in my garden with it. Um, with aphids right now and I'm not concerned at all. They usually go to a plant and then you'll notice them sort of dissipating as they start moving around. A few things you could do if they don't leave is you could use a soap spray, either a horticultural spray or you can make your own spray with Dawn soap. I think it's like a tablespoon per gallon of water. You could also use neem oil. Inside on house plants, I like to use rubbing alcohol, diluted 50%. You could even do it on small plants outside as well. The key is to get all the cycles um, so, you know, there's egg cycles, there's different stages of life. So you do want to spray them every five days. Something else is ants. Ants will come to them because they are harvesting that sticky, sugary poo, and they are protecting the aphids from any natural predators that are going to come towards them. So if, say you have aphids on a tree, you're going to want to put something, the sticky stuff called tanglefoot around the trunk. So take some wide masking tape, put it around the trunk. And as the ants climb up it, they're going to get stuck. Make sure all your access points are taken care of because the natural predators will take, come in and take care of them. Speaking of natural predators, yes, ladybugs. In fact, there's a ladybug on here somewhere, but there are other ones that you probably don't even see. And I'm going to show you um, what, what to look for so you know that there's natural predators. So look closely and you'll see these brown swollen bodies. Those are parasitized aphids. Parasitic wasps have gone into the aphids and injected their, their young into there. So if you see a lot of these swollen brown mummies, you know there's natural predators and I wouldn't spray with anything really. So that's generally a sign. Sometimes I get questions and people are like, what are these white shiny things on them? Those are the castings of the aphids as they molt and change. Those are their skin. So if that's all you see on the plant and you don't see any live aphids, then don't worry about it. So really, I would not fret if you have aphids on your plant. If they stick around and they start developing in numbers or you notice the health of your plant, then hose spray, that doesn't work, then a soap spray or neem oil. Um, but keep an eye out for natural predators because you don't want to use any of those with natural predators around. So aphids is a fact of life in a garden, especially early spring. So hopefully that helps.